Okay, let's go. Uh, let's hope that people will be joining as we go then. Uh, so yeah, my name is Jonas Jacobsen. I work here in uh, on the Velvet Shore as sales manager. And uh, with me today, I have Oksana. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, and um, we on Developer Shore, we have a lot of different webinars. We have um, um, webinars that focus on around tech and, 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 uh, and other setups for our developers and, and, and our, our clients. Uh, but this webinar is focused around one of our partner companies, Wombat. So, and it's also really nice to have you here in Stockholm, uh, since you've been here for, for quite a few weeks. Yeah, for three weeks. Three weeks, yeah, yeah. really nice. Yeah. Uh, so let's, uh, let's, let's get going. Okay. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> You're yeah. Uh, yeah, so first, shortly about uh, Developer Shore. Um, Developer Shore works, we, we focus to be a curated community for senior developers. Um, we try to combine the local sales and market insight of the Swedish and also the Dutch market since the beginning of this year. And we try to, uh, to provide with nearshore developers the best ROI to our clients. Um, we also try to um, help our clients with tailor-made solutions for every different assignment and, and position. Um, we help our clients with, with freelancers that, that can work um, part-time um, shorter gigs at our clients, but also team members that can work full-time, long-term, or or maybe even part-time, long-term with our clients. Um, that can either be by an hourly rate, but also could be with a monthly fee with, with benefits to ensure that lost commitment from the, from the developer. Um, and in that case, uh, in those positions, we go to our own community. But we also have a lot of companies and, and clients that come to us and say, hey, Jonas or, or DevShore, we don't need a specific resource. We need a total delivery. We need to build a mobile application or a website application from scratch. Can you help us? And that is when our partner companies come in. So instead of us providing the, the full team, we, um, we, we take into all the information that the clients have and then redirect it to one of our preferred suppliers. And Go Wombat is one of these. Uh, we've been working with Wombat for, I don't know, four, four, almost five years now mm -hmm. um, on different clients and different problems and, and solving them together. Um, so that's why you're here, to present a little bit more who you are and how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this webinar. As we have already told, this is our first uh, the webinar together. We're a little bit uh, nervous and we hope for your support. Thank you for being here today with us and for uh, finding time uh, to visit us. My name is Oksana Shapilova. Uh, I work at Go Wombat for uh, almost uh, five years, four years already. I am partnerships lead in the company. Here today with us is uh, Mike uh, Ivanov. He uh, will help us with uh, answering questions. He is our chief um, uh, information um, uh, officer. And uh, I would like uh, to tell you today uh, the, uh, how we work with developers short. <laughs> so uh, we can see, uh, you can see on the screen now that uh, we work together more than four, four years. And uh, here you, you see the picture, uh, pictures of uh, some of our meetings here in the office with uh, developers short and with one of our clients. During these years, we have um, accomplished more than 10 uh, successful projects and uh, we grow together, uh, go one by the growth. Yeah. yeah. Grows and, uh, and uh, developer show grows too. Uh, now I will tell you a little bit ago about Go Wombat. Go Wombat was created uh, eight years ago um, by three friends. 
these people uh, are still work working in the company. But now, <laughs> instead of three people, we have almost 100 people in the company. And during this time, we have uh, delivered more than 150 projects, small projects, big, big projects, huge projects. Uh, uh, we have now three offices. Two of these offices are in Ukraine and one office is in Spain. Uh, yeah, and I told you already that there are uh, about 100 people in the company now. Uh, as to the industries, you know, we uh, do, uh, we create custom software solutions uh, to better reflect processes in our applications of the companies. And here you can see uh, industries which we work in mostly. We can, uh, of course, help uh, in uh, a lot of industries, but uh, here you have, you can see uh, what we do and what industries um, we come across more often, like um, uh, marketing and advertising is uh, uh, very popular at Go on, but also we do uh, many human resources projects uh, currently. Yeah, uh, these are here. You can see Mike. <laughs> and uh one more guy here his name is german he's our architect um how we work together with um developers sure uh we are um near sure partners and uh when developer show has um a request uh we can help uh with uh our expertise, which is based on the following um, technologies, as you can see, this is Python, React, React Native, and uh, Node. We have opened a uh, Node department uh, just recently, but we are growing this um, uh, direction very fast. Okay. Uh, services that we are providing. Uh, we create, as I have already told, uh, custom software uh, solutions, mobile applications. We um, can uh, automate business processes of companies. We have great uh, business analysts in the company who can help um, elaborate on the idea and uh, create uh, documentation for development. We um, love data uh, because we use Python a lot. We uh, are very strong at uh, collecting data, analyzing data, processing data, visualizing data, creating uh, beautiful dashboards, uh, uh, which um, uh, can um, analyze and uh, collect uh, data for businesses and businesses can uh, use it for uh, making um, more effective decisions. Um, using uh, our applications. We also uh, do uh, projects connected with machine learning, computer vision, and IoT. Also, we um, work with cybersecurity. We have um, uh, a certified uh, cybersecurity officer. <laughs> Yeah, and we mainly work with GDPR uh, compliance and data protection in this sphere. How do we work? And uh, there are several phases in our uh, approach uh, to the development. If clients come to us with idea, first of all, we collect requirements, we elaborate on the idea, we create documentation like uh, uh, architecture solution, um, mind maps, user flow. Uh, so we create a parcel of documentation which um, uh, we are going to use for the development in the future. Uh, then uh, with this uh, documentation, we do the design. And uh, after the design is ready, we, uh, we can uh, provide our clients with a draft estimate. After the uh, estimate is um, approved, we uh, start a development. 
web development or mobile development. Of course, we have quality assurance department, very uh, professional guys who help our developers uh, in the process of development. And when the application is ready and released, we, um, if uh, a client wants, we can um, maintain and uh, help support the um, uh, application. Uh, under this, we mean uh, that we are always by uh, the side <laughs> of our clients. We uh, keep an eye on the application. Uh, we <clears throat> uh, we uh, <laughs> yeah yeah uh, we uh, keep uh, uh, an eye on the application and we uh, help our clients if there are bugs if there are some uh, something happens on the server uh, so everything is under control yeah how does developer show make it easy please Jonas. yeah you're welcome <laughs> yeah thank you uh so the purpose for us to adding these uh, these partner companies to our portfolio is to be able to to also provide this full circle solution to our clients, and um, the way we add into the dimension of this is uh, we're trying to be a reliable mediator, knowing your need and experience. So we take that. From the beginning, we talked about the um, on-site and, 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 and market knowledge and um, the presence. So if, if the client is, is Swedish, we, we know about the, the Swedish markets and we can also meet the client physically. Um, and um, we can add that into the, to, the, um, to the experience of the client. We will also be, since all the contracts are signed with us, we will also be the, the contract part for the client, which means that you have a mediator in the deal that will try to negotiate for you. So everyone is, is, is happy. Um, we, of course, are Swedish speaking um, and, and uh, we also have a Dutch salesperson that is uh, Dutch speaking. Um, our head office is here in Stockholm. Um, and um, and um, our payments and and uh, the contract goes to goes through a uh, devshore uh Swedish uh, Swedish registered company um and we also have competitive rates so all our clients that come to us they normally come with with a problem uh, they don't know how to solve it uh, they might not even know that our our suggestion for them would be to to go with a partner company, but that would be the most um, most bang for the buck. That, that would be the best choice for them. Um, you could still go to like a Swedish um, digital bureau, uh, but then the price would be much higher. Uh, our rates, since we go with with the really good partners, but they are located near shore, our rates are really really uh, competitive, um, and. Um, we are always there in the cycle, so we will never leave the client or or the partner company. We are a mediator of the full circle, and so that is how we on Dev Short Sites can add value until and to this uh, communication and and partnership. Um, we also on our side we have GoOnBot, which is a really really good partner company, um, but. Partner companies normally have a specific niche, like a tech stack that they're focusing on. We have more partner companies to complement each other and complement our portfolio towards the client. So in some cases, you will talk to one, but in some cases, you will talk to some other partner company. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is what we have. Okay. I will continue. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Amos. Um, now, uh, how do we work? First of all, I would like to tell that we are successful because uh, we are not only partners, we are real friends, right? And um, our corporate culture is the same. At Go Wombat and the developer sure, it's very nice for us to work together. Uh, we love working together and we love uh, creating uh, applications together. So when a uh, developer sure Jonas or his colleagues have a request, uh, they uh, turn to us and ask them, um, 
us, uh, guys, uh, we have uh, this and this request. Uh, let's have a call with the guys, uh, with the, the client. Uh, we, uh, first of all, we have, uh, we schedule intro call and uh, we just uh, introduce one another, introduce the companies and ask first questions about possible project. Uh, after we analyze all the answers, we choose who is going uh, to join the next call, uh, which is technical call. Here we collect requirements, we speak more about technology, about the needs, about requests, about how the business is going to be developed in the future. We involve our um, uh, head uh, business uh, business analyst lead, we involve our architect, we involve our CTO, and um, we can involve other um, ex experts too. Then when we collect everything, so we can have even several calls. Uh, when we collect everything uh, and we analyzed everything, um, we uh, prepare uh, a draft estimate and we see if uh, the client is happy with uh, uh, what, what we propose uh, in the documentation, with the architecture, with uh, the numbers, uh, and um, uh, sign a contract. We decide if we sign a contract, um, the client makes a decision. If the contract is signed, we uh, agreed everything, we uh, uh, do a kickoff meeting where it, we introduce all the team which is going to be uh, developing and helping with the project. Uh, we organize Slack chat and uh, introduce everybody. We do not have, uh, we do not hide our people. We do not hide our developers. Uh, you can uh, contact them uh, directly. You will know everything, everybody in person. You will be able to ask questions. At the same time, uh, the level of your involvement into the project depends, depends on you. We are very open. We are always happy to explain what is happening. Uh, a, a client or CTO or, or or a product owner um, can join our calls daily or uh, weekly or just come uh, to demo meetings. It depends on your choice, how you would like to work with us. We are very flexible and we uh, adjust very easily. After everything is settled, discussed, the team is introduced, we start our work. Yeah, I can just uh, add here that Normally between the intro call and tech call, we on the sales side, we have already gathered quite a lot of information yeah. from the client, uh, mockups, wireframe specification, etc. So uh, most of the time on the tech call, first of all, I really like that you guys, um, you bring everyone to the table at the same meeting. So on the tech call, which is quite initial call we still have like the uh, architect and, and uh, head of front end or head of back end it's like the real people that will do the estimation and, and have real insight are actually on the first kind of call which i appreciate because then it's more streamlined mm -hmm. um and also before anything is signed or anything is decided we always have an estimation how many hours, how vast will it be? When can it be delivered? So that's all really important things for our clients that they would like to have, which you provide excellently. Yeah, yeah. and when we start the work, it doesn't mean that all those guys who took part in the estimation, they disappear. They are always here. They keep an eye on what is happening and they discuss, they help the team. Uh, so we are always here and I'm always uh, with my clients uh, following everything what's happening with the project. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I would like you to tell you about a couple of projects which are we doing now, uh, ongoing projects, fresh projects. Uh, I would like to mention, first of all, that uh, Sweden, of course, th this is a high tech company. And when uh, other countries do not have some uh, solutions uh, yet, some programs, some digital schemes, uh, other countries even don't think about it yet, Sweden <laughs> is updating already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Sweden is a very, you know, high-tech country, and 
I, I think that it's uh, the, ga the the goal of Swedish uh, people to be the first. Yeah, and, we, we try yeah. to be early adapters. Yeah, yeah, you are the first now and you are already changing, you know, <laughs> <laughs> your approaches and uh, switching to new um, technologies. Yeah, and um, uh, the first uh, project I would like to tell you about is um, Urine Threat. I don't know, do I pronounce yep. this? Yeah, yep. correct. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So we work uh, with this company for uh, more than a year. I think mm, that many uh, Swedes know about this company. <laughs> uh, the guys are fighting for animal rights, uh, for animals not to be tested on, not to be killed uh, with cruelty, not to be used for fur and um, for... Uh, uh, this, uh, you know, such cruel stuff. Yeah. So um, they turned to us um, to help them update uh, several platforms they are using. They um, they are vegan and they use a lot uh, of applications. Uh, uh, so uh, they turned to us to update a uh, couple of um, uh, applications they use uh, and uh, design that they used and. Um, also create uh, new projects. Um, yeah, and they, uh, when they have vacation, <laughs> they uh, ask us to support the application so they can uh, uh, have rest, yeah. <laughs> got relaxed <Yeah. laughs> while we are watching, while we're keeping an eye that everything works uh, well while they are not uh, at work. Um, you can see the tech stack uh, that we use here. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, we're real friends with the guys. Yeah, I can just add that um, one challenge that they have is they have a lot of different websites, different systems. And for us to providing one developer is not enough because uh, the work for that developer with that specific tech stack is it's not, um, it's gonna be too, li too, too, too little work. So by, um, pairing you up with 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 Wombat um they have I don't know 80 developers with different experience etc to to be on on call for the different projects that they have could be design it could be front end it could be back end it could be I don't know it could be pretty much anything yeah yeah the guys always have something to update they always have new ideas and we try to help them as much as possible with business analysis with documentation with quality assurance with cybersecurity, with everything they need help with so yeah. it's a whole um, big uh, partnership cooperation yeah. here not just one project um, let's go to the next um, um the next uh, company is alpha care uh, these are guys from Malmo, and they asked us to help in the beginning. They asked us to help with their mobile application. Uh, they, this is a product IT company. They create products and they sell it to government institutions, to municipalities. And uh, we work on the project now called Ypsilon. Uh, this is a big application having web uh, application and mobile application. And we were asked to help with mobile application because before we started working on the application, they uh, had it only for Android. And they asked us to uh, do it for iOS too. And as soon as we finish there, uh, they will switch off their Android application and use our application, which will be used both for iOS and for Android systems. Uh, the guys came us with this application that was created, has been created uh, uh, by them during 10 years. Uh, they worked a lot and uh, some people <laughs> maybe change the project, maybe left the company. So when they came, there was not much of documentation, yeah. <laughs> yeah. not so many answers <laughs> to what should be done. Yeah, so we, uh, first of all, we did the discovery phase. We appointed a business analyst and our tech lead who worked with the guys and collected all the requirements, checked how the uh, mobile application works now, how everything is uh, should be done there. Uh, yeah, this uh, discovery was made during six weeks. And then we started working. Um, 
uh, we are finishing soon. We hope, uh, yeah, yeah, I would like to tell you about the application itself. It's created for uh, providing home care services. Uh, so people who take care of bedridden people, homebound people, uh, they can, they come uh, to their homes, they open uh, their, ho their doors with a lock, they provide um, assistance, they buy stuff, they clean there, they maybe give medicines, they do everything uh, what is asked to help these people, and um, they have to keep record of everything what they, were do they are doing. So they have this application in their mobile or in their tablet and they uh, register everything they do inside uh, so um, there is a lot of uh, personal data there uh, really huge application and uh, we hope that soon it will be released and uh, in parallel we are starting uh, one more application it's not so big it's just an application for opening boxes in hospitals with e-log uh, containing some medicines, drugs, which are not, uh, you know, allowed uh, to be used just, just to uh, anybody. Mm -hmm. So only those who have access to these boxes, uh, to this, uh, yeah, to these boxes can open um, these boxes from the e-log, which we also, we are updating the application. And also here we're thinking about creating a database with modules. We will use uh, code parts which we uh, uh, used in Epsilon and here in um, the new uh, uh, my app. Uh, the second one is called. So we are using these parts um, to create database now to use uh, these uh, modules in the future. For the guys and also we're speaking now about support uh, i think that after we release all the applications we will uh, take them for support and we will fix everything if there are some bugs in the future or something has to be changed so we will be all the time by uh, the side of the epsilon also you can see here the tech stack the core is uh, react native here which allows using one application for both android and ios systems also, uh, I would like to tell you that we have experience of working with IKEA, with IPSAS, with Ukrainian division of DHL. And uh, to finish my speech, I would like to tell you, as you can see, I'm here in Stockholm now. I will be here until Thursday. So we have four working days. And if you would like to meet with us in person, we will be happy. Yeah, with Jonas to have a cup of coffee or lunch with you to meet to speak uh, to discuss ideas uh, so you are welcome to get in touch with Jonas he will schedule a meeting and we can uh, meet in a more close yeah. <laughs> environment yeah. yeah now yeah now. Um, do you have any any questions any thoughts that has come up during the um, presentation yeah, now it's time for questions. You're welcome. Don't be shy. Um, okay, one question from Andre. Uh, question for Oksana. How to find reliable um, sales partners on the new market you, you want to enter? Question for Jonas. Uh, are there any cultural obstacles when Swedish partners interact with clients from Eastern Europe? And do you want to start? Uh... How did uh, we I, find each other? Uh, how? Uh, what's uh, the my question? How to find reliable sales partners on the new market? To enter sales partners, uh, you don't have to look for anybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, it's very important to, to feel, to get to know one another. You know, we build uh, trust. We build uh, relations with uh, people, not with companies yeah. uh, and uh, about the money. You know, this is how you can understand if yeah. these are your people, these are your partners or uh, or not. Yeah. And when I go out or we go out and find new partner companies, uh, I also look for uh, companies that kind of share our basic interest and, and, and if we have a mutual agreement. Um, uh, and uh, and it's pretty much up for the first project. So in some cases, we have done project from our side with the partner companies just to confirm how they work. 
Um, but but normally it starts with with a first partner uh, a partner deal or or project. Um, the question for me: Are there any cultural obstacles when Swedish partners interact with clients from Eastern Europe? Um, our clients are mainly Swedish and Nordic that works with partners and um, developers from Eastern Europe. Um, so I don't know too much about that, but generally why we work with resources from Eastern Europe is because, because they are kind of close to us Swedish people in um, in in uh, cultural differences, there there are some, of course, but it's not that much. Uh, we have the same humor. We like the same things, so it's normally yeah. kind of okay. You can see here, you know, how we communicate, how we support one another, and uh, for me, really, uh, yeah, you know, there are some differences, but they are not so, you know, uh, big, and they are not so, you know, like like they cannot break the communication. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another question here. Uh, I saw video analytics and IoT on one of the slides. What experience do you have? Any reference projects? Do you want to take that or maybe Mike? I don't know. Mike, would you like? Yeah, yeah, yeah why not? <laughs> First Please. of all, uh, great to see you all. Uh, and basically, I'm happy to be here. Uh, and answering these questions, yes, uh, we do, and we have uh, the uh, division in our company that works with this direction, and uh, uh, of course, uh, I can tell you to the extent that is uh, available for me for telling under the NDA rules, but these are mainly the projects that uh, we are conducted uh, for different uh, production companies that produces different stuff and do the uh, projects that we've been uh, doing with them together is about the different uh, uh, different methods of analyzing the uh, process details and uh, moving them into the right uh, production lines. This is the first one. And uh, another one that comes uh, through my mind currently is about the uh, mar marketing and uh, the advertisement sphere uh, where we've been involved in a big project for uh, one of the uh, uh, companies from the UK market that analyzes the uh, data that comes from the video and uh, presents the uh the reliable and the appropriate uh content for the users and uh analyzing their views and the uh things that they've been watching and uh kind of analyzing this data it produces it's processing these processes this data and uh, gets the overall uh understanding of the interests and the things that might fit the users in terms of the uh, marketing representation of different brands that use these platforms. Uh, these uh, projects are usually under strict NDA, but of course we, we have the overall and the high level uh, description of these projects. And perhaps if we uh, would be interested in further discussing this uh, direction, then perhaps it, it, it was a separate discussion, I would say. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. Um, yeah. Um, and um, David asked, do you only do entire projects or can a resource slash consultant be hired from you to an existing team project for a period of, for example, six months to strengthen? Yes, that is when we on Developer Shore normally goes to our normal portfolio of services, a freelancer or a team member. So we only... Uh, take contact with our partner companies when the the need is more and more complex and need of a team um, to help our clients with a specific resource one or two or three uh, to build a team that is our main business that is what we on developer shore uh, normally does um, so we can talk more about that if you want to david um 
Noel is asking. Yeah, Noel, uh, are there more markets that you would like to go go into if you had partners, developers available, i.e. Spain, Portugal, Romania, and Poland? I'm guessing that's uh, kind of to us on developer shore. Um, yeah, I mean, our community that we, we, we call it community of great devs that started from, from Ukraine, but ever since, um, since COVID, and also the war, our community has grown a lot outside uh, Ukraine also. So we already have a lot of developers from Spain, from Portugal, from Romania, and from Poland, uh, along with, with, with other countries as well. So we, we welcome all developers um, fr from all, all countries, but hopefully from Eastern Europe side, uh, as long as that you're willing to work uh, with with uh, Swedish Swedish and Nordic and and um, uh, distributed teams, uh, long term, full time or part time as well, um, but we have a full picture, a full um, site on our website where developers can go and and assign to our community and then be vetted by our uh, delivery organization and our recruiters. Partners, we find new partners as we go. So when we have a need that we don't have a certified or, or, a, or a partner uh, currently, then we go out and find new ones. As of right now, I don't think that we are in a position that we need more partners, but never is a never. Uh, if you would like to be one, send an email to me. You know, in general, I would like to tell you that uh, speaking, meeting people here, speaking about people in the IT industry, I understand now that uh, people are a little bit uh, careful about spending money and uh, developing something new, but it's the best time now. Uh, guys who are thinking about development, it's the best time now because now uh, today we can hire skilled and um, professional developers easier and if you want to uh, to build something it's the best way to uh, to start it now crises will go away the war will finish and by the uh, by the time everything is uh, like calm and uh, the business can prosper you are already ready for this and really if i had to build something i would use this chance mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, if I just may add uh, just a couple of sentences to the uh, what Oksana has been saying, that it, it, it's really uh, kind of a great time for investment, uh, even if it sounds a little bit surprising. Like what we had a couple of years ago with the tourist business, and we've been doing a couple of uh, projects in the tourism uh, branch. And uh, lots of people were uh, practically uh, telling. Uh, the business owners of got what you do, what you've been spending on, because this business is dying, and nobody is traveling, and everybody's sitting at home. And look what is happening right now. And this uh, season is basically already booked, and uh, in lots of places there are no uh, practically no uh, open spaces. Many hotels. So basically, it always makes sense to look a little bit ahead, and we, of course, uh, will be happy to help you in this. Yeah, yeah, it's really true. I've been to Croatia in summer and all the beaches were just full. There was no place for people to lie down and uh, people in Croatia were in shock. They were not able to provide services to everyone. So everything changes, yeah. things changes. Yeah. And I see a, questions, uh, a question from Noel here. Nice to meet you, Noel. Thank you for having <laughs> Thank you for the meeting. <laughs> a yes, couple it was of great. It was great. Well, and you are asking, um, are there projects you turned down due to lack of skills and technology? Uh, sure, uh, it's not due to lack of skills. It's because we experts in uh, some some technologies not everywhere and if sometimes guys ask you uh you know sometimes i get such uh such uh, messages from developers sure Oksana, do you do this please tell me what i do th that you do this i want to work with you <laughs> but <laughs> that happens yeah. but uh, in this case, uh, if it's another technology and we are not experts here, we're not going to lie and say, sure, sure, and start, you know, uh, hiring people uh, to just uh, grab the client. No, we will say honestly, no, sorry, we don't do this. Yeah. And if we do projects we, where we can help and where we can have enough skills to be successful. Yeah, which I appreciate. 
in them. But it's really nice working with you. So, you know, you can always ask. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Oksana, I know that you're quite niched, but what thing about Jonas, you guys, do ye turn down projects because ye lack the skills or partners in those technologies, for example? I would say um, no with like an asterisk. It depends on some projects. When it comes to um, consultant needs, if you need a, I don't know, obscure machine learning video analyst, we've done that, which we didn't thought we would, but we found that because we search in such a vast area. Um, so when it comes to the specific consultant, we can find that. But when it comes to delivery uh, to larger projects in a very, very niche uh, segment, then yeah, yeah, sometimes it can be really hard to find that kind of um, partnership and, and the provider. But that's because it's like super, super niche. Uh, it's like someone that needs help with um, building electricity charging poles, um, hardware program. And, and uh, one criteria is that the partner company has had to done it before. Yeah, that's going to be hard for us. Uh, we can, we, we will try, but you know, in yeah. that case, yeah. yeah. Any other questions or thoughts or anything? No? Maybe somebody else has a question and is shy to ask. <laughs> yeah, could be. Yeah. Don't be shy, just ask. Yeah. We're happy to reply. Yeah, but uh, if if there is no more questions, uh, I'm really, really glad that you took time to attend to this. If you would like to have uh, a meeting with me or reach out to me and, uh, and we will make that happen. Um, and um, and that's about it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Have a good day.